Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel 2018 high tier paper. Um, this is Maths GCSE and it's paper 2, which is the calculator paper. We're on question 12. So this is about looking at uh, a series of graphs and trying to work out what the proportionality is of them. So it says these graphs of y against x represent four different types of proportionality. So we've got to match each type of graph, each type of proportionality in the table to the correct graph. The first one, um, so we're saying y is directly proportional to x. That really says that as y increases, so does x and they both increase at an equal rate. So we could say that is graph B. If we look at the next one, we're saying that y, equal, y is proportional to x squared. So really what that's telling us is that as x increases, y increases at the square of the rate that x increases. So y is going to increase at a more rapid rate than x. And the only graph in which y increases more quickly than x is graph D, because we can see that graph A, x actually increases more quickly than y. And in um, graph C, actually, as x increases, y decreases. So this has got to be graph D. Um, the next one is saying that as y as x increases, y is going to increase proportional to the square root of x. So really, what that's saying is, let's imagine. Um, first of all, let's imagine we had a little table of values. Say x was equal to one, and then we would find the square root of one. Well, y would also be equal to one. So at the moment, they're equal. But then let's pick another value. Let's say x is 25. What would y be? Well, y would be proportional to now the square root of that. So y would be the square root of 25 proportional to, um, and it would give us 5. So we can see that y is actually going up sl more slowly than x. So that would be graph A. Okay, if we look at um, the final one, by process, process of elimination we can see that it should be C. Again, let's look at um, a table of results. Let's imagine, um, rather than looking at y is proportional, we look at y is equal to 1 over x that gives us a special case of that, but we can see what shape of the graph it would be. So if we did a little table again, we would get the x and y values. And first of all, if you put this one into your calculator, it will work. But if x is 0, y would actually be infinity, because we're trying to divide 1 by 0, get infinity. So I we get a really huge value, and we can see this portion of the graph here, y is shooting up to a very large value as x approaches zero. Let's imagine x becomes a very large value. So we'll say x is 100. Okay. Now if we divide 1 by 100, we actually get 100, which is, as a decimal, 0 0.01. So we can see that as x is getting bigger, y gets smaller. If we did a, an even bigger value, if we did 1,000, then we'd get that y was equal to 0 0.01. 0 0.01. And we, uh, so as x increases, the value of y gets closer and closer to the x-axis, but never actually reaches it. It's known as an asymptote. So we, we can see that graph C is the one that satisfies this proportionality. So it's graph C. 
And that's it. We've completed that. I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our video. Um, leave comments if there's anything you'd like me to go through. And subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for further help, you could look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.